Throughout history, the most captivating images has been born from collaborations and shared creativity, and today we are taking that to a whole new level. Auto SD combines the power of GPT agents and Stable Diffusion XL, allowing them to autonomously collaborate, discuss, and decide on the perfect prompt for generating images. Let's take a look. First, let me show you how the Auto SD system works. So you can see in the square here we have our Python hub our two chat GPT agent 1 and 2, when they get the trigger message, they will start simulating our conversation on how they can get the best prompt for stable diffusion. But as you can see on the right here of the square, they have access to Google. Both agents can go to Google, search for that information they need, bring it back to the conversation so they can tell the other agent about it. When they finally decide on a prompt they want to send, they will trigger a generate image function that will send that prompt to Stable Diffusion XL that will generate the image and save it to our folder. That is the basics of the Auto SD system. Now let's take a deeper look. Here we are at the Python Hub Auto SD. I'm not gonna go through the Python code, that's gonna take forever, that's gonna be in my membership. But let's have a look at our agents. Your name is Agent69, you are a professional photographer. Your task is to cooperate with Agent007 to create a text prompt for a hyper-realistic portrait of a stunning young woman. So that is where you set your task of the image you want. Agree on the prompt first, then start a new response and run special command generate image plus the agreed text prompt as the input after the command. You can use Google search if you need to. The response does not contain any other words than special command plus the prompt. That is basically it. We have the exact same options here with the agent 007 and 69 switch. That's our agent's uh, instructions. Now let's run it. So I'm just gonna run this now and then we are gonna take a look at the result and the conversation. Okay, so that was done, so they said goodbye 15 times here, because I have a set number of uh, interactions they can do. So let's go all the way up here. So we have our trigger message here. Here are the search results for how to create a perfect portrait photo with a mirrorless camera. Okay, so that's interesting. It kind of went to Google and searched for that. Once we have a good understanding of what we need to do, we can discuss the best way to describe the woman and choose the appropriate camera settings for our text prompt. We got some uh, URLs here, so let me check them out and see if they are real. Yeah, this is a real site. This is NikonUSA.com, so understanding focal length. So we kind of searched up this and had a look at the here. They kind of scraped the information here. So we got different lenses, focal length, so yeah. This was a good one. Uh, let's have a look at the rest here. I fetched the content of uh, photography life. What is aperture? Okay, so it went to that uh, site and here is the expert from the website. I have this function where they can scrape the websites or the URLs so they can get the information. Aperture is perhaps the most important of the three pillars of photography. So we got the information here from the website. So based on this information, we know what lens to use. Uh, is it a, yeah, what aperture? Shall we concentrate on describing the woman first? So the agent 69s agree. Yeah, let's concentrate on describing the woman. So we kind of did some suggestions here that gave it an ID and asked 07, what do you think about this? Uh, I think that's a great description. It definitely gives a good idea of what a portrait photo should look like. Now let's move on to discussing the best camera settings to use for this photo. Uh, we want to use a mirrorless camera. Do you have any specific camera lenses in mind? Uh, yes, absolutely, says Agent69. Uh, I think it's an excellent choice and repeats the setting. Should we write a text prompt based on our choices? So now they are starting to agree, right? <laughs> yes, let's create text prompt for... Uh, okay, so here is the prompt. Uh, I'm not going to read all of this, but it looks quite interesting. And here you can see it triggered the, um, the generated image, right? Because we had this... Uh, here it is. Generate image. So it said the command, generate image. And it uh, generated the image. Uh, can I help you with something else? No, that's all for now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Don't hesitate to reach out. And then you just say goodbye 15 times. So yeah, let's take a look at the result. This gets stored to my folder here, right? So let's look at it. I think this was quite good, right? Uh, it's a bit... Uh, it's not so big, so... It's definitely a portrait photo. I think this looks very good. 
I was kind of happy with this. Let's switch it up a bit because you can also use these agents to create tons of images. You can give them task to create. Let's try to do three images. If you want to try out Auto SD, be sure to check out the link in the description below to my YouTube membership, where you will get access to 40 plus members videos, tutorials, and the GitHub repo where I will be posting this script. Let's get back to the video. What I'm gonna do now is head back to our agents and just give them a slightly bit different task. So we, now we're gonna generate three text prompts instead of one. And that's basically all I'm gonna change. So let's head back here and run it again. Okay, so that was the perfect showcase of how this is gonna work. So let's take a deeper look here. Yeah, they just start by saying what's the plan, right? But what I wanted to show you is, okay, so they come up with an ID and they talk about camera settings. I think those are good. And then they go, now let's start to work on the three text prompt. Shall we start with an Agent 69 suggests a first prompt? And he goes, how does this first text prompt sound to you? Uh, I think it sounds excellent. Shall we move on to the second text prompt? Sure, here's a suggestion for the second prompt. What do you think? I think it's fantastic description. It highlights the subject's elegance and confidence. They are very uh, agreeable. So shall we move on to the final prompt? Yes, let's work on the third and final text prompt text prompt so all the ideas comes from agent 69 but that's fine it comes up with another idea how does this sound for our third and final text prompt i think that is absolutely perfect agent 69 007 says uh, highlights the subject radiant beauty and photographer's technical skill so shall we proceed generate the images based on these prompts absolutely let's generate the images so then it goes generate image and it goes three times that and then they go uh, great job agents 007 the images will take a few moments to generate i will let you know the images are ready <laughs> so so now they are going to look at them uh, i hope you're happy with the results thank you agent 69 they look fantastic you are welcome agent 007 it was a pleasure to assist you with this project do not hesitate to contact me again if you need any more help with photographic related tasks. Thank you, I will definitely keep that in mind. Have a great day. That was just perfect showcase of how this works. Uh, let's also have a quick look at the results here. So it generated these three images. They were quite good, especially this one. That was amazing. I like all of them. I really like the new Stable Diffusion uh, XL version here. Yeah, that was very cool. Uh, I think that was showcased the perfect how these are cooperating. But now let's switch it up a bit, do a few other things. I'm not gonna go in into this detail but I'm just gonna run it and see what other things we can create with these agents in auto SD. I changed up the agents a bit now so you are now a professional anime artist your task is to cooperate with agent 00 to create a text prompt for anime art for a new anime series start discussing on how to describe the series and what art styles you will use for the text prompt uh, I'm just gonna run this now and we will take a look at the results right I run this uh, about three, four times now. Let's take a look at some results here. So let me just open the images. Uh, okay, so I think this looks quite good, right? It's sort of a kind of a Japanese anime girl. Here is some kind of, I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, okay, this is more futuristic. Okay, this was quite cool. So you can see it's clearly reworking. Uh, I didn't put in many text prompts now. I just did one and one. But I could have added more. Let's just try to change it up a bit again. The new agent roles are now you are a professional photographer and architect. Your task is to cooperate with 007 to create three different text prompts for generating a series of images of stunning insane houses. Let's see how they fix this. Okay, so I think that's it. I don't think the agent prompts here were perfectly optimized because they created some weird stuff. Uh, let's have a look here. So let's just open everything. They created some good stuff too, I think. Uh, so this was the first one. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a cool house. Very close to the sea, right? And we have this one with a beautiful view. So that was quite cool. And then it created some kind of interior again. I think this is valid. And <laughs> I don't know what this is. Suddenly this popped up. Again, this is on task. This is a modern house with a pool. And here we have, I don't know what this has to do with uh, houses and architect, but it, it looked cool. Okay, so we have another uh, interior image here. But then we went on to create this. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And finally we ended with this kind of looking 
almost like a government building. But uh, we have a pool and stuff, so yeah, they executed, but I think this last agent prompt could have some uh, optimization. I had a lot of fun making this system, and I actually think there are more room for improvement, and we can optimize the prompts uh, for our agent more. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be exploring this more.